Hi friends, this is Kim with Sweet Daisy Creations. Good evening. It's about 6.30 in the evening here in Texas, so I hope I'm catching this light okay. I know there's a little of a glare right there. I'll try not to show anything in that. I have a little bit of a, I don't really want to call it a haul. I've just picked up a few things to you know, get my farmhouse decor going, so I wanted to share it with you. Um, it's just um, a few items um, that I'm super excited to put around my house and I thought I'd let you in on it so let me just jump right in but anyways uh, Kim with Sweet Daisy Creations if you like kind of the content of my videos please subscribe and hit the bell so you'll know be notified every time a new video comes up um, I'd appreciate it I'm brand new at this so if you have any suggestions obviously I'll take those I do not know how to vi edit videos so you get what you see if I goof up I goof up and I'm sorry, but that's the way it is. Anyways, let's get started. Okay, first I want to say, here recently, a couple of, oh, I guess probably about almost two months ago, my daughter had a dance competition up in the Dallas area. And so we had to drive up there. And from where we live, we were able to go through Waco. Anybody know where, what, what, what's in the Waco? That's the special thing in Waco? Chip and Joanna Gaines's Magnolia Market? Oh, well, anyways, we got to go there. My husband's kind of surprised me and said, we'll go through Waco. And I was like, yes, I'm so excited. Anyway, so we went. We got lucky. It was a rainy day. It was the middle of the week. It was like, well, actually, it was like on a Friday, maybe, or Thursday. Um, and so it wasn't as crowded as it could be because I have seen other videos um, on this, and they were, the lines were extremely long, especially at the bakery. And we went and it wasn't bad at all. So I was able to get a few things there. I showed one thing in one of my videos when I did my family room tour, that Demijohn vase that was kind of green and I had some dogwoods uh, coming out of it that I got at the Dollar Tree. Uh, so I'm not, I don't have that with me. But I picked up a couple of other things uh, when I was there and um, I wanted to show you what they were. So here goes, first thing. Oh, gosh, I hope it doesn't fall. Look at this. Can you see it? Look at all those cotton stems. Aren't they adorable? I love these. So there are large ones and smaller ones. And I believe the smaller ones were $6. The larger ones were 8 And I have about two of the long ones and about three or four of the short ones in the front so it would fill up this. Can you see that? I'm gonna show you all of it. It's one of those wall, it's flat on the back, and it's of course that galvanized metal stuff. And these were um, $28 a piece, these, these things. But they have a little hole in the back so you can hang them on your wall. And my plan is in my entryway, I have like a buffet that I got from Pottery Barn and a mirror. And I'm gonna put these on either side of the mirror and so I have two of these, but aren't these adorable? These cotton stems are so nice, and um, they're very well made. Um, they're not as, um, these are better than the ones they have at Hobby Lobby, but my Hobby Lobby is always sold out of them, so I was lucky I found these. So anyways, I got cotton stems and two of these to hang in my entryway. So anyways, that's what I got there. And I got that Demi Jodden vase, and I also got a round um, galvanized that says Magnolia Home. And when I do eventually a tour in my kitchen, I have it sitting there with some stuff styled in it. So I'll show you that. But I was just excited as I'll get out to get these things, and I just love them. So anyhow, um, I also just um, a couple weeks ago went with my daughter, and we went to um, World Market. And a couple of things I picked up um, are actually in my kitchen, which I'll show you at some point in time. But I got another something, and that's this. Wait a minute, did I get that there? No, I got this at home. I'm sorry. I did get some stuff at World Market, but it's hanging in my, or it's above my um, hutch in the kitchen. And I was going to pull it down and show it to you, but I forgot. But anyways, I did pick this up at the at-home store um, in my area. And it's this, and it's a box. It opens up, so I guess you could put stuff in it. But I just plan to set it on my area in my hutch, or the you know the shelves above the hutch part. 
and it was $12.99 at home and I just fell in love with it. It just looks so uh, farm style, don't you think? It'll be perfect for, for um, that farm style look. So anyways, this is it and it's a tin and um, I couldn't tell you what size it is, but it's, it's a good size. It covers my face, so you know it's a pretty good size. Anyway, so I got that uh, at home and when I was there, I also picked up this. This is a short little pitcher. Um, it's from the Home Essentials brand. I want to say this was like $6.99 or something like that. And I haven't found yet, but I want to put one of those greenery balls in it or something. Or maybe find, you know, a, a, one of those plants at like um, Michael's or at Hobby Lobby or something to stick in it um, on my, in my kitchen again on my shelving area. But isn't it cute? It's just a small white pitcher. But I thought it would look cute with some of that stuff in there. So that's a cute one. I'm going to set that over there. And uh, also um, at Hobby Lobby the last time I went, I was so surprised when I finally saw those tobacco baskets. My Hobby Lobby hasn't had any. They have sold out like crazy. So I finally got a tobacco basket. This is a small one, it's not the large, and it was, let me see if I can see that, $17.99, 50% off, I think I got it, so 17, that's 18, six, six something, and of course I plan to do what everybody else has done, is put a wreath in the middle of it, but Hobby Lobby didn't have any of their small like uh, boxwood wreaths, which is what I really kind of would like to put in there. Um, I'm doing something else with a magnolia wreath that I actually made. Uh, I'm going to do that somewhere up on the wall in my kitchen. This is going to also probably go somewhere in my kitchen or maybe another area of the house. But I was so glad to have this because, you know, I do want to put one of those wreaths in it. And I finally found one. These things have been selling like hotcakes, you know, at Hobby Lobby. Okay, and the next thing I picked up at Hobby Lobby, and I was so glad I found it, was this picture. Farm Fresh. I was so glad that they had it because I spied it a couple of few weeks ago and it was like on one of those, oh, in the middle of the store, you know, they have all those display units and stuff. It was sitting on one of those and I wanted to get it, but it wasn't on sale. So finally, all the, what they call the porcelain or whatever was all on sale. So I finally snagged this up the day I went and got the tobacco basket and I just love it. It's also going to go in my kitchen. And it sets on the very top shelf, or right on the top of there. And I thought it would look super nice. And I know I'm using these flowers for something else. But I thought, wouldn't that look great if those were sitting in there up on top of my shelf? I think those just look beautiful. Um, these are not the actual, um, what are those called? I don't know. These are called like wildflowers that when you buy them from Dollar Tree. But I actually like that other stuff better. But these, that color just pops. And I do have a lot of sunflowers um, in my kitchen because sunflowers are one of my favorite flowers. So anyways, I think this is going to be great to change it out during the seasons. We could put different things in there. And I just love it. So Farm Fresh. And this was like $29.99 half off. So it wasn't super cheap. I want to say it was $29.99. Um, anyways, but don't you love that? I love it. I just, um, so glad when I found it because I, I saw it and they didn't have it again there for a bit. Okay, I had to finally bite the bullet and if I wanted to get any type at all of Ray Dunn, I was going to have to buy it somewhere online because I have been to TJ Maxx to the, at, um, the other store, Home Goods, and I've also been to... What is it? Marshalls. I never find any. Ever. It goes like crazy. In fact, I saw a video here not too long ago. Somebody said there was a huge fight at their... I, I want to say that was... Oh, I can't remember her name. I wish I could remember names of people's channels because I watch a lot of videos. But anyway, somebody had a fight over like, you know, a canister or something in one of those, like a Marshalls or something. They were fighting over it and the police had to be called. That's nuts. Nuts so. So anyways, I've looked at this several times and used my gas to drive to these places and I was like, no more, no more. 
I'll pay a little more if I want a few pieces and I'll get them off one of those offer ups or Mercari or one of those. So I actually um, got my stuff from, I believe it was Mercari. A uh, girl on there had some pretty good prices. So let me show you a couple of the Ray Dunn pieces that I got. Okay, so the first one is this. I have a little puppy. She's a little um, Shisu. Her name is Hannah. And this is a bowl I'm going to use for her to put her like dry food in it. Um, I flake if, well, I could put water in it, but I think it'd be better if I put the dry food in it. And it's just, I love the Ray Dunn stuff, don't you? I love the, the lettering, just everything about it. Um, I don't remember exactly how much she charged me for this, but of course it wasn't as cheap as what you'd find at, you know, the Marshalls or places like that. But in my area, you just can't find it. And then the next thing, which I'm super, super excited about, is this, this little birdhouse. It says nest on it, and it has a little bird nest there, and it came with a little bow, and it has a little hanging thing, so you could hang it outside, but of course this is gonna go in my kitchen somewhere. Or maybe if we ever get those shelves built, I wanna build, you know, with the pipes that everybody's doing, I wanna put this on there. But isn't it cute? I love the muddled features, and it does have the nests all the way around. But I was happy to get this. Um, I just kind of picked out of a few things that I thought I'd like. I mean, I'd really like to start getting some, you know, some of those plates that say things and junk like that, but I don't know. Anyway, so that's that. And then the last thing I got, I've been really wanting these, are these planters. Aren't they cute? They also have a nest and a bird and a tree. And I like these, they're plain on the back. I haven't even taken the packaging off of them. But if I was expected to buy, get any type of Ray Dunn, I was gonna have to do it online. But anyways, aren't these adorable? I think I'm gonna try to find some plants to put in them, some kind of fakies, fake, fake plants. And of course, I also wanna set those like my, on some shelves somewhere else in the house, not in necessarily in my kitchen. But aren't they cute? Anyways, I told you it was kind of a short haul, and I do talk a little bit too much, but I hope you kind of liked what I have, and when I get a chance, and I finally get my kitchen clean and fixed up the way I want it to look, I will do a tour of that room too. Anyways, bye-bye. I hope everybody has a fantastic weekend, and I will see you soon. Bye.